Hundreds of criminal convictions are now under review following that landmark Supreme Court decision earlier this month affecting the reservation status of the Muscogee Creek Nation. One of those cases is that of Shannon Kepler, the former Tulsa police officer convicted nearly three years ago for shooting and killing his daughter's boyfriend. Two Works For You reporter Tony Russell is live at the Tulsa County Courthouse with the latest developments in this case. Tony. So what you're happening, hearing right now, especially out here in front of the Oklahoma District Court, so what is going on? You've got people that were convicted of crimes, and now they're working their way through the case. They were convicted in a courthouse like this one, a district courthouse, but now, because of that McGirt ruling, they're asserting their tribal status, and potentially, they could get their case moved from a district court, their conviction, and retried, or even po retried in a federal court, and possibly dismissed in some of these cases. It's still kind of up in the air. A lot of this stuff is playing out, but one of them, through my digging, one case I uncovered was that of former Tulsa police officer Shannon Kepler. Now, he went through three mistrials before being convicted of manslaughter for the shooting death of his daughter's boyfriend. Now, back in 2017, his attorneys challenged his criminal case because of his membership to the Muscogee Creek Nation. Kepler now serving a 15-year sentence in McAllister, but his attorneys are working to get his case thrown out because of the McGirt ruling. That latest Supreme Court case reaffirming the Muscogee Creek Nation's original treaty and reservation status. The Oklahoma Criminal Court of Appeals, they heard it in 2017, but they put it on hold pending the outcome of the McGirt ruling from the Supreme Court. So since that landmark ruling, I found several briefs that were filed from the Oklahoma Attorney General's office and attorneys representing Shannon Kepler. Right now, as it stands, the Oklahoma AG's office has asked for an additional 60 days to look at the impact of the McGirt ruling, Kepler's attorneys are trying to override that. We also reached out to Kepler's attorneys to comment on those briefs that were filed in the Oklahoma Criminal Court of Appeals. Once they let us know, we'll make sure to let you know. Uh, coming up in a couple of minutes, I'm going to interview uh, the district attorney, Steve Kutzweiler, here in Tulsa County, and I'll have his reaction coming up all new at 6. Putting live in Tulsa, Tony Russell, two works for you.